Do you know how to evaluate algebraic expressions? That is what we're learning in today's lesson. To evaluate an algebraic expression, all you have to do is substitute the value of the variable into the expression. And finally, you need to simplify the numerical expression using the correct order of operations. In simplifying numerical expressions, make sure you follow the following order of operations. You simplify first the grouping symbols including parentheses and brackets. Next, you will simplify the exponents and then multiplication and division from left to right, that's a common error. And lastly, the addition and subtraction from left to right as well. Evaluate each expression using the given values. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number one, evaluate three times the quantity x minus y using x equals six and y equals four. In evaluating this algebraic expression, the first step is to substitute the value of x and the value of y. So we have three times your x is six minus your y is four. In this numerical expression, the first thing that we need to simplify is the grouping symbol 6 minus 4, which is of course 2. So now we have 3 times 2, and the final answer is 6. Question number 2. Evaluate 6m all over n plus 3 using m equals 4 and n equals 5. So the first step is to substitute the values of the variable. 6m means 6 times the m value, which is 4. Divide by our n value is 5 plus we have 3. Now simplifying the numerator, 6 times 4 is 24 and denominator is 5 plus 3, that is 8. And of course 24 divided by 8 is 3. Question number 3. Evaluate z times x plus y using x equals 3, y equals 1, and z equals 5. The first step is to substitute the values for each variable. Our z value is 5, multiplied by x value is 3, and our y value is 1. Simplifying this numerical expression, we will simplify first the grouping symbol 3 plus 1, and that is of course 4. So the final answer is 20. Question number 4. Evaluate x cubed plus 4xy over 3 using x equals 3 and y equals 2. The first step is to substitute the x and the y value into the expression. So we will have 3 to the third power plus 4xy means you're multiplying 4x and the y value. So we have 4 times x is 3 times your y is 2. Divide by 3. 3 to the third power means you multiply 3 by itself 3 times. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So 3 to the third power is 27. Plus, now we simplify 4 times 3 times 2 all over 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 divided by 3. So we have 24 divided by 3. Simplifying this, we will have 27 plus 24 divided by 3 is 8, and that gives us 35. Another way of simplifying this expression, 4 times 3 times 2 all over 3, is you can divide right away 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So that's why you will left with 4 times 1 times 2, which is 8. Question number 5. Evaluate the expression 3x plus the quantity x minus y to the second power using x equals 6 and y equals 3. So the first step is to substitute the x and the y value into the expression. 
So we have 3 times the x value 6 plus the quantity x is 6 minus y is 3 to the second power. Now let's simplify this numerical expression using the correct order of operations. The first thing that we need to do is the grouping symbol 6 minus 3. And that becomes 3 times 6 plus 6 minus 3 is 3. Now we have second power. Now we need to simplify exponents. 3 to the second power is 9, so we have plus 9. And we will multiply 3 times 6, and that is 18. Now we add, so the value of this expression is 27. Now it's your turn to do a three-problem quiz. Evaluate each expression using the given values. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number one. Evaluate b squared minus b plus c all over 5 minus 2c using b equals 3 and c equals 2. The first step is to substitute the value for each variable. Our b is 3, so we have 3 to the second power, minus b plus c, so we have 3 plus 2 all over 5, minus 2c means 2 times the c value 2. Simplifying this, 3 squared is equal to 9, minus 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, minus 2 times 2 is 4. Simplifying this further, we need to simplify this from left to right. 9 minus 1 is 8, 8 minus 4 is 4. So the answer for this problem is 4. Question number 2. Evaluate the expression k cubed plus 2hk minus the quantity k plus 1 using h equals 6 and k equals 2. So now we will substitute the h and k into this expression. Our k value is 2, so we have 2 to the third power, plus 2hk means 2 times your h value 6 times your k value 2, minus the quantity k plus 1 is 2 plus 1. Simplifying this, we will begin with the parentheses 2 plus 1, and that is minus 3. Now we will simplify the exponent 2 to the third power. 2 to the third power means multiplying 2 by itself 3 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Plus, we multiply 2 times 6 times 2, and that is 24. Now let's simplify this expression from left to right. 8 plus 24 is 32, and in 32 minus 3 is 29. So the answer for this expression is 29. Question number 3. Evaluate the expression 4j times the quantity k square minus h square using h equals 1, j equals 5, and k equals 2. So now let's substitute the value of the variables. We will have 4 times our j, which is 5, times the quantity k square is 2 to the second power, minus h square, which is 1 to the second power. Let's begin simplifying the parentheses 2 square minus 1 square. So we will have 4 times 5 times the quantity square is 4 minus 1 square is 1. So now this is the same thing as 4 times 5 times 3. Simplifying this from left to right, we have 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. So the answer for this expression is 60. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.